Looking back over 30 years in the mountain bike industry, I've seen a lot of changes. When I started biking uh, back in the early 80s, full rigid bike, no suspension at all. And then when the dual suspension came along, that's where we really changed the riding style. It actually allowed people to free ride. And now we're in the next evolution, which is e-mountain biking. As soon as I saw e-bikes coming out and DaVinci made one, I, I phoned him right away and asked if I could get an e-bike and been on board ever since. And I've ridden every DaVinci e-bike since 2018 when they made their first one. For me, it's very important to represent a product that you really believe in. So if I didn't ride the bike and loving it so much, I wouldn't be involved. This is it. This is the best change um, to mountain biking that I've ever seen. It's wicked. It just gets you into wicked spots super fast. The E-Spartan and the E-Troy are going to be a big step up from what the Vinci is doing now. I've spent so much time and uh, kilometers on the previous bikes. And this is the best edition of it, by far. Yeah, it just makes it so it's pretty confident, inspiring. The bikes are strong, they're durable, because it's a proven geometry that they've been working on for years with the Troy and the Spartan. They mixed all that together and they put it on an e-bike, which is going to make an amazing machine. You know, like, Troy's super capable. It's, it's, it's ridiculous what you can do on that bike. It didn't take long at all to get used to it and it felt like it could handle anything I threw it at today. It feels super light and you can put it where you want, almost like a regular bike. The E-Troy is all about fast, flowy, and just ripping along the trail. And the E-Spartan is really for the burly, gnarly. Yeah, the E-Spartan right away, first ride, um, I could tell that it was, ju it just wanted to plow, like on the way down, it could take anything. Yeah, it's just, I'll just point it into things and it just handles it. So it's pretty cool. The bikes can climb anything now. In two days, I notice they've made the bike feel lighter, feel more lively, and just ride better. The short chain stay was noticeable right away. Slacker head tube. Yeah, it's super playful. I was able to follow Kenny and pretty much watch his rear wheel and get to that, like get my bike wherever I needed it to go. It was awesome. The battery seems to be lasting forever. Like, we've only gone through about a bar a day, two bars a day or whatever, so there's lots of, lots of time. Yeah, the new 725 watt per hour battery just means longer days and more power behind every pedal stroke. That battery charges to 80% in two hours. One bolt, it slides right out of the frame. If you need another battery, you slide it right in so you can charge the battery in the bike or out of the bike. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't get through many bars, so that was cool to see. We were out there, I was only on boost mode, and today only used two bars out of five. So that's pretty good. And I can do these six to 7,000 uh, vertical foot climbs and then descents right from my house and hit these magical trails that normally you'd have to drive through to or you would do once a year. Now those become normal once a week trails. My clients come back from renting a Da Vinci e-mountain bike and they love it. They feel good, they feel confidence because they are on the machine that they know that it's safe, it won't break on them, it rides well, and all the, all the feedback that we have is really it's pretty phenomenal. It's nice also to be with a company like Da Vinci that is keen on making changes and listening to us, you know, the rider and the people that use a product all the time to go further and longer, to go explore in such a new chapter in mountain biking. I don't know, me and my dad took him hunting one year. My dad's seven years old riding around with a shotgun on an e-bike and just having more fun on the bike. <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs>